appearing before the Public Account Committee on the four of Fish Sitting where the Ministry of Interior and the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development probing the infractions of the Interior Ministry the committee questioned why officials varied two separate contracts for the constructions of girls' dormitory at one of the immigration services training schools and a renovation of the headquarters from 3.9 million Ghana cities to 8 million cities without recourse to law. Also that in terms of coming together as security agencies, the customs, port health, national security, small arms, realize that the painting of the GIS and their side realize the dichotomy, the differences. And because it, has, it is an international border post where we work together, they appealed to me and I said I'll get back to their authorities. But we said at management that in order to beautify the place to enhance the image of the Republic of Ghana, Ghana Immigration Service, where all international stakeholders pass through we decided that we will come uh, uh, together and beautify the place. So we decided that we will we'll look at it and get the appropriate uh, authority to approve it. So that is what actually actually uh, happened with due respect. And satisfied with explanation, Controller General of the Ghana Immigration Service, MP for Boli Bamboy, Yusuf Suleimana, called for tougher sanctions beyond retrospective approvals. We need to talk to the AG, and that is to be consistent. It creates a whole lot of problems. But, but that is where you as a committee has the right to vary this recommendation and go ahead to recommend prosecution. Why did the committee fail to do Now, if you listen to me, I insisted that the chairman should recommend prosecution so that we are on the same level. Just last year, quite a number of institutions, agencies were referred to the court. So why are we not doing the same thing? And that is why I think that... Uh, uh, we should we should uh, revisit what we're doing last year and be consistent with what we're doing. The committee has directed the ministry to reappear on Monday to explain why 443 private security companies failed to renew their licenses, amounting to 886,000 revenue loss in 2022. Seeking relief from the chairman, Honorable Yusuf Suleimana, sought explanation on the processes of recent recruitment into the security services. According to him, the various security agencies have recruited personnel in the last two years without any advertisement. Service as well as uh, prisons. I've seen that in 2022, with this recruitment, there's evidence to that. 2023, we did see. But before that, I never saw any adverts. Is it the case that now you do recruitment without advertising to the general public to ensure that there's fairness in the process of doing your recruitment? But the minister said all the recruitment were backlogs from 2021. We did the 2021 advert, and all that we were doing was the backlog. So we, we did it. It is the truth my boss told you. And I'm so, you so truth. what you have said is that mm -hmm. you advertise in 2021. Exactly. 2022, you haven't advertised. 2023, you haven't advertised. We are doing transparent work. And I think what my boss told you was the truth. We did the advert in 2021. And 2023, there was no recruitment. All of them were from 2021, 22. So there was no recruitment. Take it from me, 2024, if there's a recruitment, we'll do the advert. Honorable Suleimana said the sector minister must appear in parliament to answer more questions. About this recruitment. First of all, I'll file a question, and I think that the Minister of Interior should come and then tell us why he thinks that he should use 2021 20, adverts mm -hmm. to recruit for 2022 and to also recruit for 2023. 20, uh, that we should, we, should, we should know. In a case involving the fisheries ministry, the committee flagged the fisheries commission's failure to retrieve some 695,000 cities paid to one Guma and Sons Limited for the procurement of two Toyota Prados in 2021. The sector minister, Mavis Hawakumsin, explains why. The contract was given to the supplier to supply two Prados and eight pickups. But he supplied them 
And the two Prado had effects on them, and it was returned. So as at the time of auditing, they were able to provide only the eight pickers. And looking at the amounts of the pickers, without the Prado, definitely the money paid was more. And that is why it looks like it was overpayment, but because the Prado was not part of it. These no, no. Prados were returned. So in the normal circumstance, either they supply the Prado or they refund the money. But 269,579 was refunded, leaving a balance of 695,441, which is the same amount that the auditors flagged here. So that is why the issue is. So now, either the company uh, refund this amount or supply the products. In another contract to the same company, Guma and Sons abandoned the construction of a headquarters for the Fisheries Commission in the Savannah region after getting paid over 550,000 cities for mobilization exercises. The company abandoned the project at the footing stage. The chairman said the minister should summon managers of Guma and Sons to answer some questions. You go and come back on Monday. Then when you are coming, come with the management of Guma. Come and explain to us. The committee resumes sitting on Monday. James Aveji, Parliament House, Accra.